hello there. Welcome back to me playing on the Red Cube server. Still haven't fixed this yet. Uh, I've just been actually, to be perfectly honest, I've been a little bit discouraged by the fact that it burnt down. And until I fix that, I'm probably not going to touch it. I even had, I made myself a little sign um, because people were telling me and people were mentioning it in the Red Cubed uh, chat room that we have going. Um, this is the start. I'll show you this first before I actually go and sort some stuff. This is the start of the the archway. Uh, what I think is going to happen after this point, like I've gone up these, this was the stairs idea that I was having. I like how that looks. Um, this is going to go up and then it's actually going to go up a bit more and then arch over and then join up with this side here. So that's what we're going to be doing for uh, the archway. And then for the walls, we're probably going to be doing something uh, kind of along these lines. I don't know how I'm going to link it up with this yet. Um, I do want to tie it in with the stairs up there. And it'll be a pretty big wall. I can tell you that much. It'll be about this wide. Like, um, let's see, one, about three blocks wide. One, two, three of walking distance. So that'll be good, and it'll go all around this enclosure. There's something pretty cool in town I'll maybe show you at the end of the uh, episode. Um, I also wanted to show you something real quick up there, but first let's sort some of the stuff. And uh, while I sort it, I'm actually going to talk today um, about why I do Minecraft videos, what got me started in Minecraft, um, who I've met along the way, uh, and that kind of thing. And I'm kind of inspired today by a guy, uh, he does Minecraft videos as well, and he's been doing them for uh, quite a while, probably even longer than I have, uh, if I'm to be honest. Uh, and his name is HighBoyMC. So he's been doing videos for quite some time, um, and I've, I've known him through uh, friends and stuff for a while, so uh, I, I, the odd time look at what he's been doing. I don't, as you know, I don't follow people uh, on YouTube as far as like Let's Players go and stuff. I don't really do that. I don't follow anybody. Um, I'm, I'm not dedicated to following anyone and I, I, I don't know. I just, I spend so much time doing it myself I find I don't have the time to watch other people's videos. <laughs> Seems to be that way these days. But the odd time I check in on my friends, and so I looked into his videos the other day. And there was actually a very inspirational one uh, where he was talking about basically how he got started. Um, basically how he got uh, pushed in the direction of making videos, and eventually how he got accepted onto the Mindcrack fan server. Um, that's the same place where you'll find people like Harume, uh, my friend, is on there. Um... Bree plays games. Who I have, I'm on a server that she runs. Uh, you got people like Sixalona and Alphonia and uh, other pretty big followers of the Minecraft fellows. So he's on there too. And uh, let's see. I just want to put these away. And uh, so I, I was following him the other day, just watching one of his videos, and he was talking about how he got on that, and it inspired me to make one myself. Now he can talk like probably like no other. He's Actually, very well, uh, well spoken. Um, so he can form form his words very well. Uh, he can put his thoughts together in one long chain without having to stop and say um or uh, you know that kind of thing. Uh, and I and I know that I can't. I just did say uh as I was saying that. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of try to do something similar to tell you guys how I got started and that kind of thing. And I'm gonna try to do it in as short a time as possible. He did it in an hour, uh, and I, I'll i be honest again, I re recorded this previously. I'm re-recording this, so it, my memory is all foggy, what I've shown you, what I haven't shown you. I forgot to show you what's up there. I'll get back to it. Um, but, yeah, base, look at this. Look at this. I, I recorded this before, and it took me 59 minutes to get through all of it, so I'm going to try my hardest not to have this be an hour long special, but if it is, well, so be it. Look at this. This is so cool. So awesome. It makes my little place look just like a chumpy little place. Nice circular structure. 
big archways. I like it. I don't really know what this is. There's a lot of red uh, redstone cubes, so maybe this is the new spawn-ish area. Um, I think maybe that is where you spawn when you first come in here, if I remember correctly. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, let's get started in, in talking about myself. This is kind of like a... This is what I was talking to High Boy on uh, Skype after I watched the video. I was kind of just saying thanks for making that inspirational video. It was really cool. And uh, he said that it was kind of like a draw your life, but with talking instead. Um, so we'll try to get through it. Okay, so basically the way that I got started in Minecraft, and you guys know this if you've been watching any of my series for a very long time, uh, it's been asked in the Q&As of both my Better Than Wolves and in my Lion King, uh, and I've talked about it in the past, but basically I was aware of Minecraft for quite some time, like back when it was in Alpha, and I was never really interested into it. I knew that the people who played it were really obsessed with it, and that's about the extent of my knowledge of it. I really knew nothing about it, and in fact, um, kind of in the same way that I make fun of people who play World of Warcraft type of games and get all obsessed with them and take them too seriously, I was kind of making fun and mocking people who took Minecraft too seriously. Um, so I never really got into it, and I didn't want to get into it. Okay, look at what we've been doing up here. I'm going to interrupt myself for a second. Um, I am lightning proofing the roof. Hopefully this does a good job. Hopefully half slabs are all you need to lightning proof it. I honestly, honestly, I don't know. I, I've never tested it, to be honest. But I think it'll be better, even if it does light on fire again, at least we have the shape down of what it used to look like. And I'm continuing that. I've just used up all my stone doing this, so that's kind of a pain. Uh, and I'm not anywhere near finished yet, so working on that. Okay, but anyway, my brother suddenly, one day, was playing a game. And he is a huge StarCraft player. Um, my brother and I, we've been playing StarCraft since it came out. Like, literally, back on the old CD-ROM, when StarCraft first came out, we bought it, like, the first day that it was out, and we've been playing it ever since. My brother never quite stopped playing it. Um, I need some stone, and I can get that down here. My brother never stopped playing it, so he plays StarCraft 2 a lot, and he's actually, like, league ranked and stuff. He's very good at it. Um, but that's the extent of the video games that he plays. StarCraft, and that's about it. Now, one day I hear some sounds coming from his computer, and they definitely weren't StarCraft. I know StarCraft sounds, and these weren't them. Um... So I had a look at what he was playing, and it was Minecraft. One of the very early versions, like version 1. Point, oh, it could have been 1.5 or 6. Oh, I don't even remember where the versioning started, but it was so early on that I don't think it was 1.7.2 yet. Um, and he was playing it, one of the very, very early versions. And... He kind of showed me the game, and I knew right away what it was, that it was Minecraft. I recognized it, um, because although it wasn't a very popular game at that time, it was still popular enough that people talked about it. So I knew what it was. I recognized it. Um, I'm actually going to go digging. Sounds like a good idea. I'm going to go digging for some cobblestone, because I need more stone than what I got. Way more stone. Uh, here's as good a spot as any, I guess. Do I have torches? Eh, I can make some. So anyway, he was playing that game, and basically he showed me, like, he he was saying, you know, oh, we, we knew nothing about the game. He had a little railway going or something, and was telling me about how the zombies basically uh, can spawn at any time, and will destroy your life, uh, make you miserable. So, I immediately, like, as soon as I walked away from him, I ran to my computer. He was visiting for just a day or something. Um, so it's kind of convenient that he was showing me the game. Uh, but I ran back to my office. I sat down on my computer. And I looked up like, okay, let's look at this game seriously now. Let's figure out what it is. I need it. It was that kind of awesome. I saw the game and right away knew that is what I want to play. 
that is what I want to get into. So I downloaded it um, and kind of started playing around with it a little bit, but not really a, a huge amount. Um, it was version 1.7.2 uh, beta, and I wasn't really into it yet, um, but I played it a little bit. And uh, meanwhile, my friend Haru, who I know from uh, certain gaming developments that we used to work on together and, and that kind of thing, uh, and we were on the same forums, and we played the same MMOs and stuff together for a long time, and so we've been good friends for a while. And I was trying to convince her, like, okay, you need to play Minecraft with me. You just got to. And she was saying, no, 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 no. Don't want to play Minecraft. Minecraft is the lamest game ever. Graphics suck. Everything sucks. Why would I want to play that? And I was the same way. I got to admit, I was the same way when I first learned about Minecraft. But you convince someone finally, and after you start playing it, you just can't put it down. That's the way that it is. And, I mean, if you if you are one of the viewers now, at this point, who still doesn't have Minecraft, I mean, you got to save up. you got to save up your pennies, do what you can, buy the game, um, and, and get your hands on that game. you just got to try it. Even just to try it. Try the demo. The demo is free. Uh, and there are other demos out there uh, made by different companies and stuff. Uh, feed the beast you can download um, you know whatever you want to do with minecraft do it do it now love it enjoy it so we started playing minecraft uh, together mostly and in doing so we joined some servers uh, smaller servers we joined one that I actually had the courtesy of naming called the Midas effect server and I don't know why it was named that it was it was just kind of a lame name that we thought up um, I think it was like the first word that I that I thought up of and ooh, look at this big chunk of diamonds um, it was like one of the first names that I thought up uh, and kinda just stuck with it because what the heck what else are we gonna choose so we did that for a while and in that server we met people like uh, Jason 27 who we later found out uh, got accepted onto the Mindcrack fan server. And uh, even beyond that, we learned that he was the cousin of Vintage Beef, who I'm sure some of you might know is um, on the mind, the actual Mindcrack server and is a very more, much more popular Let's Player than I am and plays around with the guys like uh, Pause on Pause and, and that kind of thing. Now... He actually joined the, uh, he was whitelisted, believe it or not, on uh, the Midas Effect server, very, very, very briefly, and actually, because he was doing this, uh, like, a server review type of series or something like that, and he actually came on to the server and saw my little humble abode, and I remember Jason was telling me, like, oh yeah, Vintage Beef came on the server, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. What did he say? What did he do? He's like, oh, he liked your house. And I was just like, at that point, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm on fire. Don't worry. It's just a bit of fire. My chain leggings. No. <sighs> Empty buckets. Let me just wait for this to wear out here. I'm going to steer clear of this lava here. Different direction. That's a good idea. Now, Vintage Beef. He wasn't all that well known at the time, but well known enough that if he were to say like, hey, you had an awesome house that you had built, and it was this weird spirally glass thing with water elevators and stuff, for him to say that kind of thing was very, at that point, I was flattered beyond belief. So that was kind of the one of the first celebrity rushes that I had, and it was like, wow, if this guy thinks that I'm awesome, it like, that my building ability is cool, then, like, that is the most flattering thing. And it just makes you want to play the game even more. It just makes you want to do things even more. And so, whoops, no, not again, not again. So that kind of inspired me to just keep doing what I was doing. And so I did. I continued it. 
um, left that server. There were some issues that I'm not going to get into, but uh, I think someone who was griefing got on somehow, or someone thought, you know, it was managed poorly and uh, took it upon themselves to cause some trouble. So I don't know what happened there, but in any case, the server shut itself down, um, and we kind of moved on from there. Um, at that point, that's when I decided that I was going to start making videos. But I hadn't really looked into it yet. But when a guy like Vintage Beef is saying, yeah, your stuff is good, your, your building is good, that got me thinking, well, wow, I'm going to look into this culture a little bit more. So I started looking into the Let's Playing culture, and that's about the extent of it. Um, at that point... It's kind of a turning point, and this is the same thing that High Boy said too. In his, uh, was that he actually uh, started watching a series called Race for the Wool, which was I think created by Good, and uh, it had guys like CoStar and Avidia and B Double O and Good and and other people that they all knew. Uh, I think was Beef on there or no Vintage Beef was he on there was Badge, I think Badge was on there. Some of the guys from Minecraft, I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, Race for the Wool changed things. When you watch Race for the Wool, and I want you to look it up. If you haven't seen Race for the Wool, the original Race for the Wool with Good and CoStar and Avidia and B Double O, they had a couple uh, Race for the Wolves, but the original was the best one, I think. Um, watching like. Good's view was just like that changed things once you watch that you'll want to make videos that's all that I can say I wanted to make videos after I saw that and after seeing their personality their humor and it is a little bit more adult humor than you know what I show on my channel um, you know cursing is definitely their friend you know if you're not into that kind of thing then uh, you, you gotta be careful with what you listen to but at the same time, it's all in good fun. They know how to have fun, and I just loved it. So then I started looking into it a little bit more and watched uh, B-double-O and Good's legendary Super Hostile series, kind of like Lethemir, the series that I did with Liam and Silent Mist. But this was like the original. This was the original type of Vex map um, that really got people into it, that got them popular, that got Vex popular, uh, and that kind of thing. So, I started watching that, and that's when it kind of hit me, like, hey, what they do isn't hard to do, and no offense to what they do, but I could see from, like, a technical standpoint, in any case, that it was not difficult. Is that sun coming up? Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Sun. Now, I could see from a, a technical standpoint that I could make videos, too, and that it wouldn't be very hard for someone with a technical background like me to really get into. So I started making some videos, single player videos. Um, at the time I joined the Breville fan server. No, it wasn't called fan server, but Breville's Madhouse server. Um, which is a server for people who were fans of Bree Plays games. And um, I actually got invited onto there after applying uh, in one of her contests to join the Mindcrack fan server. I, I wanted to join at the time. So I uh, went into one of her contests. Actually, I'm not going to run that way. Changed my mind. I'm going to go this way and finish this a little bit more. I need some stairs. Okay. So we do like this first. And then we do like this. And uh, not enough. Oops. Thank you. Like that. We'll do it. We'll we'll get it. There we go. Okay, so a stack in a bit. Now, I had joined, um, at that point, her server. She invited me after I had applied on her contest and sadly lost. But at the same time, it was good because I got to join the uh, Breville's Madhouse server. And on the very second day... Uh, that I was on there basically uh, and there is a recording of it if you look through my very old videos you can see a Breville's Madhouse uh, episode 
where we actually played with all of the people from the Minecraft fan server. So it was like, hey, I'm not on the Ma the Minecraft fan server technically, but you know what? This will do. This is fun. I like this. You know, it was it was intense. I got to play with them. We got to hunt some Ender Dragons, and uh, kind of go from there. I loved it. Um, so doing that kind of got me into the video making. Uh, I did at the same time my dinosaur series, which everybody knows. Probably, if you're watching this series, 8 out of 10 of you found me through my dinosaur series. And that's just a fact. That's how popular that series is. So, no complaints about that, definitely. Let's see, how does this... How should this look? Let me just jump up a bit. Oh, I can't. Go this way. There we go. How does that look? Hmm. I have to think while I do this. Can't talk thinking. Okay, like that. I think. So there's one of the side walls started. And then this will actually go up. Ah, uh, should be birch. I'll do it. Or uh, uh, birch, or spruce. I was thinking birch, maybe, and replacing that inner circle with birch. But anyway, getting back to what I was talking about, because I don't want to get off topic. It, it is a long topic, so I'm gonna try to speed through it again. Um, but basically, uh, oh man, don't fall, don't fall. I got into the dinosaur series, and that kind of kick-started something. I started getting a few subscribers. And then I thought you know, to myself, you know, it's kind of fun getting subscribers, seeing what they say in the comments, uh, and doing that kind of thing, getting to read, getting to do the video work. At the time, my technology was very, very, very limited. And not because of my knowledge, but because of the... Uh, just the the price of things, what things cost. Like Final Cut Pro, the editing software I used was like three hundred something dollars alone. Uh, but in the course of time, like I've bought thousands of dollars worth of stuff for video editing and recording and doing that kind of stuff. And you can't just start and say, okay, I I've bought everything. Go. I'm not I'm not that wealthy, so I had to take it slow. Um. But it was worthwhile. After you get into it, you just can't stop. Let me, th let me see here. Like that, I think. We'll do like one, two. Oh, did I put it? I put the dirt away. No. Well, maybe we'll we'll finish this some other time. I'm actually going to uh, check out the nether. Oh, I can run through my own portal. <laughs> uh, let's see started doing videos technology was starting to slowly get better and better uh, which you can see like my first few dinosaur videos were just absolute garbage as far as I think like in quality terms I never I'm still not very happy with them if I could redo them I would that's one thing that I really regret is that I can't really redo those uh, and so the quality is lacking and because that's like the first opinion that some people get of me like they say that series those episodes first they're going to assume the worst. They're going to assume, oh, all of my videos are with a bad microphone and kind of laggy because they were recorded on my Mac. Um, that's that's not the case, but you can't redo them. So that's kind of a regret that I have. But things got better, slowly but surely. Things got better, and I kept it up. So, you know, between doing the Breville Madhouse server videos, dinosaur videos, single-player videos, I got into it. And I built up about 300 subscribers or so, just a little shy of 300, so maybe 250, let's say. And when I got to 250, I decided I was going to do a contest that I would donate $1. Oh no! Oh, you jerk! Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed again. Wow. Don't know where that guy came from. Through one of the portals. But, uh, ooh, very cool, very nice looking. Um, when I got to that much, I was saying, okay, I'm going to donate a dollar for every single subscriber that I get till the end of August. 
And I remember that because what happened next, I could never have predicted. One of my, one of my very few at the time, uh, subscribers nominated me for I Has Cupquakes Gamer of the Week. Their, her GOTW, Gamer of the Week. I'm gonna actually I want to explore someone's house, but I don't know who's. Let me see who's selected. Nerd Herdia. Uh, that one's not linked. Novonia's old home. Uh, you know who I've never seen? I've never seen the uh, Drew's new house. Let's go s just take a look. So, with that... Oh, where's the carts? It says we're full. Huh? Hello? Cart system. I have a cart. Should I place it? I'm going to try. can't get in. Whoop! I'm in. Okay. Yep, taking me to the right spot. Good, good, good. And I'll turn down the sound a little bit for the cart ride. Uh, what do you guys figure? Three? How come it doesn't sound like the sound has gotten any... Just off completely then. Um, for now. So, I got into that kind of stuff. Um... And when I made that bet, like, okay, I'm going to do a dollar to charity for every subscriber I get. Someone nominated me on I Has Cupquakes Gamer of the Week, and I won. I couldn't believe it. My mind was blown. And my subscriber count jumped. My subscribers in the course of a couple days basically went from 300, just under 300, to over... It was like 800. So... That was insane. That was just like, bam, 800 subs. Now pay up. Pay up charity. Oh, crap. <laughs> it was like, well, I don't mind, but that wasn't what I was expecting. I was thinking maybe 300, 500 bucks at the very most, but no, 800. So that was like crazy. Um, And that really got me into it again. You know, first Vintage Beef was saying my stuff was good. Then all of a sudden, I has Cupquake, who has like 500,000 subscribers, was like, hey, this guy is not only good, but he's won my Gamer of the Week. That's how good. And she complimented my Dinosaur Series, and it just took off from there. She, at that point, said, I'm going to do a Dinosaur Series too. And she finally did. I think she's removed it now from her latest series. I don't know. But um, basically what happened is... Yeah, she started doing it too, so hats off to me for making her play it. <laughs> I take all full credit. But anyway, uh, that's that's kind of how that happened. At that point, it was kind of, again, do I try to join the people with the Mindcrack community, join the fan server? Uh, Harume, my friend, had all, all of a sudden made it onto that server as well. So it was like, okay, do I join them or... Maybe I should instead join something else. And that's what led me to the Red Cube server, which we are on right now. Okay, sound back on. Click. Um, led me to here. And you know what? That's when I realized, you know, it's not the name of the server. It could be Mindcrack. It could be, you know, any server name. doesn't matter. It's the content that you put out that matters. It's the quality that matters. Ooh. What's this? A giant kidney-shaped pool with drowning things. Hey, I've seen him building this in his videos. Oh. Oh, I see. I don't know what he's building. Looks huge. Looks massive. This might be where his house is going to go. It's right where I'm standing. Uh, or maybe it'll be a park. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Drew, I haven't kept up with your videos. But anyway, it showed me something. Like, I can have fun on this server and be myself and do it at my leisure and uh, and have fun with it. You know, and opportunities like Lethemir come up and I'm already talking with a couple of the guys for other other things that we might be able to do. Um, there's a Feed the Beast type of thing that they do as well. And, you know, there's so many things you can do on a server uh, as well as, like, the friendship opportunities so that's all part of it 
Man, this place is actually bigger than I thought it would be. More houses over here. Bad things everywhere. Um, but yeah, now it's changed. Like videos for me mean something completely different than they did even back when I was uh, just starting the dinosaur series. You know, at that point it was just a hobby, if nothing else. Now it's almost a second career, and that's how I've really been starting to take it. Is like, let's if we want to do this professionally, let's not be afraid. Let's not be afraid of trying. Let's do it. Let's do it professionally. Let's try our best, do our best, put out the best quality videos, you know, that kind of thing. So I've really been trying lately to do that kind of thing. Oh, crap. Sorry, Drew, if I blow anything up ahead of time. Ah, oh, my thorns is killing him. Slowly. Ah, oh, the new skeletons. I can't even run up to them. Come on. Oh. Just nuts. Stupid new skeleton AI. It's too difficult. Too difficult to manage. Anyway, now I do like two to three videos a day, every day. Uh, three hours it takes me per video. Um, whereas it used to take me almost an entire day of editing and stuff to just put out one video. Uh, and I remember in some of my earlier dinosaur videos, me even saying, you know, I'm discouraged. I... I might not be able to do this for very long. Uh, I might have to do it one day a week uh, or once a month. Or, you know, I was even thinking of quitting. Now I could never even imagine doing that kind of thing. I would never quit. I love doing what I do. I love doing the videos. I love the series that I have going. Um, and so I'm continuing that. Now, by the time you watch this, we're over 15,000 subscribers. And that, to me, all I can keep thinking is, like, look, I was watching people like Good and B Double O back when they had 5,000 subscribers. And it was unobtainable back then. 5,000 subscribers? You are the most popular person on YouTube. The only one bigger is Toby Turner and, and Cupquake. And that was about it. It was like watching the guys from Minecraft have only. 5,000 subscribers and Good did his first face cam at 12,000 subscribers. I remember when the day that went live, it was just so mind-boggling and to be like above that count now, it's just absolutely invigorating. It makes me want to do it for the rest of my life and I've always said, you know, like where's the future going? Where's Minecraft going? That kind of thing. I will be here for as long as people are willing to watch what I do, willing to listen to what I say. So, I mean, that's that's kind of it in a nutshell, you know? How I started Minecraft, how I got into it, uh, the servers and stuff that I've been on, the people I've met. I've, I was on the Minecraft. Uh, I've often hung out with their community. Um, you know, I did a, a couple maps with people from the fan server and stuff. I had the privilege of actually getting to meet both B00 and Good and Vintage Beef, as a matter of fact, um, on when they had their public server up. You know, that kind of thing. I know that, like, friends of mine, actual close friends of mine, have literally had conversations and stuff, long conversations with them. I don't aspire to really do that. That's not my goal. Um, that might be the goal of some people, but for me, it's just to even be considered on the same level as, as people like that. Uh, that's what I aspire to be. That's what I aspire to do in the future. Wherever it takes me, whether it's in Minecraft or whether it's in some other game, whether it's on YouTube or some weird digital media right into your eye sockets video, I will be there. I want to be there and I want to be doing what I do. What I, what I do is entertain now. I never thought that I'd be saying that, you know, uh, being a computer geek your whole life and then, you know, it, it's helped me with my video editing and stuff. I know all the technical aspects of a of a codec and I know how to, uh, I know what, uh, you know, different transcodings and multiplexings are. Like, I know the technical aspects of video and I think that that's helped me, but I never thought that I'd be entertaining, that I'd be talking to people. You know me. If you've seen this series for a long time, you know what I was like in the past, how shy I was, what I had to get over. Um, 
And so, yeah, it's just amazing. I'd love to do it forever. And hopefully, this little chat has inspired you to do kind of the same. Maybe you're thinking about making videos. I don't know. That's a cool idea. Cooking up some cobblestone, it auto automatically puts it into stone. I like it. I I really like that idea. Cool. Very cool. Good one, Drew. Stealing the idea soon. <sighs> but I think we've gone way over time again, and I apologize if it's a long video, then congratulations on the long video special, but if you've stuck with me, I hope you appreciate it, because I do. I appreciate you guys more than you know, and we will see you next time on the Red Cube server. Bye-bye. <laughs>